Hello, this is Joel Lindstrom back again with another Power Platform answer. Today's question is in the Power Users Forum from Rajiv Shank. Rajiv Shank asks, when I enter data into text box, I want to fetch data from the Office 365 users and Power Apps. How can we do that? That is a great and very common scenario. So uh, let's let me show you how I would do that. There's actually two different connectors that you could use to basically do that. And I'll tell you my understanding of what the differences are. You've got one called Office 365 Users, and you have another one called Azure AD, both of which will get very similar things because they both work with the Microsoft Graph and Azure AD to get user information. The difference being Azure AD can also get uh, Azure Group membership. And, but it also requires a higher level of privileges. It requires you to be an Azure AD administrator for Office 365 users is the more the generic user uh, lookup and it can be used by anybody that has access to Office 365. So with that in mind, um, let me add a, uh, a text box here, a label. And what I want this label to, to do is get the value of text input one and uh, look that up in Office 365 users and return back a piece of information from it. Let's do Office 365 users search user search term. Let's do text input one. Close that out. Then we have the choice of all these different things. Um, basically, almost any field on there. Postal code. You can see it still wants more than that because this could actually return multiple. Uh, so let's do wrap this in a first. And closing parentheses there. And that should work if we have postal code. So now I've added a couple others here uh, in my label two, label one. I would relabel, rename these if I was doing this for real. But now if I search for, so you can see this, this is a great way of, of searching for user information, having a text input search for the person, and then return any value you want basically from the Office 365 user record. It's almost the same thing with the Azure AD connector, but again, you have to be an Azure AD administrator to use that. So I'd recommend you use the Office 365 one. This is Joel Lindstrom, and I'll see you around the forums.